Let's talk. Uh, let's talk running backs. And the run, one running back I really love is Trey Benson from Florida State. Trey Benson, a physical, tough runner, former transfer from Oregon. Benson has done it just a an, it did an excellent job in his first year at Florida State in 2022. You really saw his full talent on on display. Nine hundred and nine, over nine hundred yards rushing and nine touchdowns. Nine hundred ninety rushing yards to be exact, just shy of a thousand. So. Yeah, Benson, he is he's starting to get a lot more uh, claim. He's starting to get a lot more hype and uh, publicity now. A lot more people are jumping on the Trey Benson bandwagon. Uh, for the NFL uh, draft cons- consensus media, he's a lot lower than most, but he is slowly, he is, yeah, he's moving up by uh, a lot of analysts. Um, and, uh, yeah, right now on the consensus board, he's only like six or seven maybe. He might even be lower than that, but. Yeah, some of the top guys, the top two, um, Travion Henderson and Raheem Sanders. Now, I like Raheem Sanders a lot. I think Tra- Travion Henderson is a guy that might slip. You know, I feel like it's going to be hard for him to stay at that one spot just because, you know, Travion Henderson is just, I think if you're talking about strictly all around game, there's really. Travion Henderson has a really good skill set all around, but I don't think his high end level traits are as good as Trey Benson or. Br- Braylon Allen, excuse me. Braylon Allen and Trey Benson are my top two guys right now. I got Blake Corum, number three. The number four guy, number four, four through six for me right now is kind of a toss-up because I really like Will Shipley. I also like, um, I like, uh, well, I like Donovan Edwards too. I like Raheem Sanders. I like Travion Henderson. So to me right now, if I had to do a top five, I would go, Braylon Allen one, Trey Benson two, but Trey Benson might be might be my favorite to watch. I think just his running style, just the way he plays, I think is would probably be my number one to watch. But as far as like overall skill set, Braylon Allen is just so talented, and this is a guy that you know I came into Wisconsin. They thought he might not even play running back, which is to me is amazing. He uh, because he was a a linebacker. He played like linebacker slash, you know, probably like strong safety hybrid in high school and running back. Came into Wisconsin, thought he might play defense, and then you know they play him at running back. And he has a he has a monster 2021 season, then a monster year this year, 1,200 yards, then 1,400 yards. So Braylon Allen, tremendous story, and it just it's crazy. Wisconsin just seem Wisconsin just always seems to find running backs. It's, it is astounding to me, you know. Because I feel like you know, I like when um, Melvin Gordon. I keep thinking every year, I'm like, ah, they can't, they can't find another really good running back, can they? And then they do. They find uh, Jonathan Taylor, and then Jonathan Taylor leaves, and you know, you know, there's a this kind of a year where it's like yeah, 2020. It's like maybe are there, is Wisconsin finally going to go without a a top level uh, college running back who you know who will play well in the NFL? And then now look at we find Braylon Allen. So. Yeah, Braylon Allen to be um, Braylon Allen one, Trey Benson two, uh, Blake Corum three. Blake Corum just his ability to like Blake Corum just knows the running back position well. And what I mean by that, he just knows uh, when to cut. He knows when to be patient. He knows how to set up blocks. He knows the strengths of his offensive line. He knows um, you know when the, when they when the uh, the block's going to be when the lane's going to open up you can tell he's been coached up so well by my Mike Hart uh the running backs coach at Michigan so Blake Corum my number 3 I probably go Raheem Sanders for just I love the way Raheem Sanders run this guy you know you get you get vibes of Marshawn Lynch just a guy that just will do any will use any tool in his arsenal to to avoid being tackled whether that's a, a stiff arm or um, you know, a la- you know, moving laterally, fighting, f- moving the pile. He does every anything he can to pick up extra yards. To me, that's that's what's fun and exciting to watch about a running back—a guy that just does everything to uh, to fight for extra yardage. You know, Raheem Sanders, he does have ability to break. Um, you know, longer runs. You do see some. The top end speed is pretty. It's pretty good overall. Uh, the burst acceleration is good, uh, but he is not a like acceleration. You know, turn on the jets and, and break long runs. Not necessarily Raheem Sanders' game, but at the next level, he is a guy that's. You know, he's gonna he's gonna have like. 10, 8, 10, 12-yard carries where he just breaks multiple tackles, moves the pile, runs over a guy. That's going to be Raheem Sanders' game. And you do, and I think that's that's why a lot of people view him highly. He does have a little bit of that upside where he can break 
uh, longer runs. But not as much. Braylon Allen, Trey Benson, those are guys where they got speed, where they can, especially Braylon Allen's got the speed to break the 70, 80-plus yard run. So that's why I love Braylon Allen. And, uh, yeah, so and Will Shipley, too. Will Shipley is kind of uh, – I not say he's the forgotten about guy, but I think he's going to be a guy that's ranked lower, but I think the NFL will still value him highly. I think that, you know, there's guys in every draft where the the um kind of the the public or like the ex the public experts, the non-NFL people that talk draft kind of <laughs> I guess kind of like myself probably will view Will Shipley lower as far as running backs and uh but Will Shipley I think is a guy that in NFL like is going to go ho- fairly high probably higher than most people think in the NFL draft maybe not first round but I think he'll be a guy that goes uh early second round and he just uh, cuz Will Shipley just has a skill set that translates well to the NFL and he's like Travion Henderson he there is a lot a lot you know there's ever there's no really weakness to his game. He does everything at least good at a good level, I would say, like Travion Henderson. Shipley, I mean, he can catch the ball. He's super competitive. Uh, sounds like his work ethic is outstanding. He's a guy that came into Clemson and, and burst onto the scene and played right away as a true freshman, a former five-star recruit, just like Travion Henderson, both five-star recruits. So, yeah, there's a lot of similarities between Will Shipley and Travion Henderson. So I think that um, Will Shipley, even though even though he's not viewed as, um, he's I think he's like consensus four, five, six, four to six range right now. I think that you know he'll be a guy that people will talk about as a, as a good player. I guess to use an example, it'd be kind of like you know George Karloftis last in uh, the 2022 NFL draft was never no one really had him as the you know the number two, one, two, or even sometimes three edge rusher, but. Still went late first round and it's still doing develop into a good player. You know, there's a lot of guys like that that, you know, you know they're gonna you know they'll be I can't think of any more examples off the top of my head, but you know they're not gonna be the first player at their position, but gonna be a really good player uh nonetheless. I'm wrap with that. Thanks for tuning in to the Brant Partial Show. Make sure to stay tuned for more episodes and clips from the show. Till next time, peace.